Welcome to Game Guys. This is your host, Bricks, and today we're going to be talking about the top five tips to improve your medic gameplay in Hell Let Loose. And make sure you stick around to the end for two bonus tips. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special shout out to our friends at Team Asylum Gaming. You can check them out at discord.gg slash team asylum. If you enjoy our top five tips in five minute videos or our content in general, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Now on to tip number one, prioritize pickups. Playing the medic class can be very rewarding for you and your team, but it can also be quite confusing for the new player. There's already a ton of icons on the map that you have to get accustomed to, and as the medic role, you're going to see a lot more popping up than others. The primary two icons that the medic needs to be looking for are the bandage icon and the syringe icon. The bandage icon represents a wounded teammate who needs a bandage, or a band-aid as it's called, and the syringe icon is a down teammate who's waiting for a pickup. As the medic, you not only have to know what these icons mean, but you have to be able to prioritize who you're going to pick up and where you're going to go. For example, if Joe Snuffy ran into the middle of a field and got shot, you might not want to pick him up when there's somebody behind a tree that you can pick up a little easier. You should also pay attention to where your teammates are on the map and your current objective. That being said, your top three priorities should be keeping your squad leader and your squad mates alive while flanking, and keeping as many people in the fight as possible while actively attacking or defending a strong point. Tip number two is communicate with your team. Being successful in Hell Let Loose is just as much strategy as it is skill, and it's hard to strategize without communicating. That being said, local chat is the medic's best friend. Let your teammates know if you're on the way to pick them up or if you can't get to them. When you're picking a teammate up, give them instructions such as, hey, cover me while I band-aid. And talk to other medics. There's no point in three medics running to the same guy to pick them up. Tip number three, it's a two-part job. This tip is probably obvious to most, but it's also dependent on the situation. You want to not only revive your teammates, but you want to heal them as well. All of the non-medic players on your team and your squad only have two bandages, so anytime they get shot or get shrapnel or anything, they're using a band-aid. Whereas you as the medic, you have 20 bandages. So if you see anyone who needs a bandage, let them know that you got it. Or if you pick somebody up, go ahead and give them your bandage so that they can cover you. Sometimes, yes, you're going to have way too many people to pick up to bandage each one of them, and you'll have to tell them to bandage themselves. But on the second loadout for medic, you actually get a band-aid box that you can drop, which will allow your teammate to resupply those ever-so-needed bandages. Tip number four, don't lead the pack. You as the medic especially on the second loadout where you only have a pistol, are not the tip of the spear. Besides, if you go down, who's going to pick you up? So while yes, you need to engage when you can, your primary focus is refusing to allow the enemy to get kills on your team by supporting from cover, getting those revives, and being a nasty thorn in the enemy side. Tip number five, keep your team in the fight. Now this may sound like a pretty basic tip, so let me elaborate. A lot of the time, whether or not a sector is going to be captured or defended is based on one or two players within the strong point. This is where the medic really shines. If a teammate dies in the strong point, then that player is not helping defend or capture for at least 40 to 60 seconds. However, you as the medic can keep that team member in the fight and keep them capturing or defending. During these situations, it's also not a bad idea to look at your squad layout and see if you have a medic, because switching to that role for this particular purpose could be what makes you win or lose the match. Thank you for watching until the end, and now for two quick bonus tips. Use and refill your smokes. These can be used for concealment moving into a point just as easily as to pick up a buddy, so don't be afraid to use those smokes and just ask somebody to drop explosive ammo to refill and use them again. And lastly, and possibly most importantly, have a good personality. When you're picking up a friendly on the battlefield, you're more than likely going to hear some of the most interesting comments you've ever heard in the world. So have fun with it. Tell them you stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Ask them if they have insurance. Just have a personality and have a good time. Once again, we thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our content and you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you want to see next. But until next time, guys, see you in game.